Good morning, gorgeous size. I am right now on my way to my college. It is hopefully, oh, sorry, it is hopefully my first day of class this semester. I'm pretty stoked about it. I'm kind of nervous at the same time. I ended up wanting to come on here and talk to you guys basically about this other journey I am in, which is my college journey. Let you guys know that I will be talking about my college and stuff because that is pretty much a majority of my life has been college life for the past few years. Being a mom, going to college, pursuing my goals. Uh, my plans were not to be taking the class that I am hoping to get in right now because I am actually on my way to the college to try to see if I can be added into a class which is English 102. It is towards, uh, tr it's for a transfer because I'm still debating if I want to transfer so transfer colleges so that I could uh, just straight get my BS in or if I am just going to stick with the program at my current college and just get, get my AS degree and I'm still debating. I'm trying to figure out which is going to work. Either way, down the line, I am going to get a bachelor's degree. So if I decide to do it now or later, I need this class anyways. Um, as some of you guys know, for my friends and family who are subscribed and watch my YouTube channel, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys because you guys love me and support me. And for strangers who ended up liking my channel and wanting to get to know me, I appreciate you guys as well and supporting me and stuff. But um, now I'm letting you guys know that last semester, fall 2018, I had took my first major science class, which was my anatomy class. And I have anatomy, physio, and micro to be able to complete so that I could apply for my nursing program here at my community college. thought I was ready to, I thought I was ready. I was ready to hit my science classes. I built myself up to that point and then my PTSD got the best of me. It sure the heck did. It sucked. It really did. And that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part was that I accidentally burnt myself with oil with bacon oil, the whole entire oil container busted all over my arm. I had second degree burn and first degree burns, almost a third degree burn. It was it was excruciating pain. And I thought that, like, I thought labor and breaking my, the tip of my finger were painful. Like, I've experienced all three different kinds of pains. Like, this burning pain was so intense. Like, it was so hard to concentrate. I had to miss three classes because of it. It was just horrible. Like, obviously, in anatomy, you can't miss any classes. That's, it, that's just the bottom line. If you're getting ready to take anatomy, you can't miss class. Hey, gorgeous size. So, I got into the class that I wanted to get into. So, I'm pretty stoked about that. I wanted this class because it's counting towards my degree in the future, not with my current situation, if that makes sense, but it is uh, benefiting me towards my future plans, my future goals. So I'm taking this English 102, my last English class that I probably am ever going to have to take, which I'm so happy about <laughs> because um, English really isn't my thing. Um, it, it is what it is, I guess, and it's just, I love writing, and I like being able to jot things down and everything like that, but the fact that I have to read other books that I might not find interested, that kind of just, uh, it just in my brain, but it's okay, like, I'm excited, I'm taking a break from my major classes, and I'm taking time to reflect on everything and just get my health in order, which I also want to talk to you guys. Like, I'm just being straight up, 100% honest with you guys, not bullshitting around with you guys. Um, yeah, I didn't follow through with my whole working out every day and stuff like that. I did the first three days and then I kind of got in a funk, in a funk where I couldn't get myself out of and it was hard and I knew I knew I shouldn't have done that to myself because of the fact that I already know what triggers me I deal with PTSD but I was trying to go about it in a different way trying to reframe my brain to thinking of something positive and continue to be going and 
just to stay motivated but unfortunately that's not what happened for me i did come above and get out of it a lot faster i snapped off of it a lot faster but i kind of tend to i did tend to ignore the working out feeling motivated to do it i lost it all 100 percent like i'm just I didn't have it and I am so sorry and I knew I was jumping ahead of the gun but I was just so excited and like pumped for it and then like everything just hit me all at once and I'm just like no why but it happened and I am here to tell you guys that I am so sorry that the next time that I talk to you guys about my weight loss that it is definitely going to be serious I'm not going to be playing around any more games and telling you guys something because a lot of you guys are strangers and I don't know if you guys subscribed to me after you found out my I was in a weight loss journey or not. I don't know. I only have about 40, 42, peop, 42 people that I'm not quite sure if what, what drew them to my channel and stuff like that. Probably my cleaning videos. Um, something that keeps my mind busy is what drew you guys to me but my main life and my main focus and everything that I'm striving for is um much like I guess much uh it's a lot more than what like just a little description of the stuff that I give you guys I guess I don't know but yes I'm so excited Whoop.